special effects and movie wizardry. But then he got interested in real power and decided to produce movies. But first, he directed the box office smash Star Wars. It made more money than anyone can imagine. But then he produced the Indiana Jones series. Those were directed by Steven Spielberg. Well, now he's taken that strange obsession he has for computer technology, and he's put it into a very odd place, a screwball comedy set in the 30s, Radio Land Murders. Our film critic, Christopher Hurd, talked to him in Los Angeles. Radio Land Murders was a, a long process from your insight, the time you accepted the story until the time it got on the screen. Just detail that a little bit? Um, well, it, um, I came up with the idea while I was working on, on American Graffiti, which is was another film about radio and about the fantasy of radio. And um, I'd wanted to do a comedy, and I, my mind wandered into this comedy. Um, and uh, so uh, when we finished American Graffiti, I turned it over to the writers that worked with me on American Graffiti and said, here, turn this into a screenplay. And then I went off and started working on Star Wars. Uh, when they finished the screenplay, I was sort of in the middle of Star Wars, and I put it on the shelf and said, you know, I want to do this, but I don't have time right now. I got this other thing. And then it became a big success, and it's sort of been on the shelf ever since. I've been trying to take it off periodically to find a way to, to do it. So originally, you were going to direct it? Originally, I was going to direct is there any? Has there been a time during this process that you thought you might do it again? No, it? Once, once I finished Star Wars and it became successful, I sort of evolved into a producer and uh, because that was the only way I could get the other Star Wars films finished and I really wanted to finish the trilogy and then uh, I had another uh, film on the shelf I have a bunch of films on the shelf actually but I had this other script and I showed it to Steven and said here look at this thing it's Raiders of the Lost Ark you'll love it and he loved it and he said okay I want to do that so then suddenly I was producing that too and and um, occasionally I would pull this off to see if I could find a director who was interested in doing it but because the style was so uniquely personal it was very hard for other directors to see how they were going to be able to do it because it's a very complicated technical movie to make. I mean, the craft in it is very ambitious. Back in the in the 40s, sometimes some years in the 40s, the, the number one box office hit of the year was an Abbott Costello movie. Why is why is Screwball gone? Why why is, is, is uh, the, are the audiences well, more sophisticated or less sophisticated? I don't know. I mean, what is replaced the screwball comedies of the 30s and 40s is basically sitcoms today, which are on television, uh, and it's a, it's become a different style of uh, comedy uh, and I want to do something that has the the sophisticated verbal comedy of, of his gal Friday or the thin man uh, series but at the same time the complete you know wacky physical comedy of uh, the silent films and of the three stooges and Abbott and Costello and that sort of thing you mentioned that it was very difficult technically this picture is, is there is there going to come a point when technology makes everybody too lazy. If Apocalypse Now were made with computer morphing and that kind of thing, would it, would it be the same picture? Would it be the same, would it have that same bite to it? What it does, it would, would have taken Apocalypse Now and it probably would have looked very much the same, but it probably could have cut the cost like by a third or a half the time. in the time it took to make it. So that's uh, but part of that is the personalities involved too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, anybody can take the technology. Some people can take twice as long using the technology, and other people can cut the time that it takes them to make a movie in half. Will you ever direct again, or is that long gone? Uh, no, I'll definitely direct again. I'll, I'll definitely direct after I finish the next Star Wars series. Um, you know, then I'm going to sort of switch gears and smaller, do or large. much smaller, smaller films. Yeah. George Lucas is going to be teaming up with that other money-making machine, Steven Spielberg, to make another Indiana Jones picture.